Hallo. Ja, dat was goed, goed, goed. Hey guys, what's up, Productions here, and welcome back to this brand new video. Today we are back at Spa Francorchamps for the last training round of the uh, Next Dutch Championship race. Very busy today, I hope I can do a lot of laps. We're actually here quite early so that we can do the first session as well. I'm now on the way to get my track ticket and I'll see you guys after the first couple of sessions. Alright guys, welcome back to Spa Francorchamps. Here again to test for the next round of the DRMC. We had amazing weather all day and it was like 25 degrees. Now for the race next week however, we've got a massive amount of rain forecasted and that actually makes me really really happy. You know what else would make me very very happy? A sub to the channel. For you it's only a few clicks, but for me it's literally the reason to keep making this sort of content. So in the end, you will feel the benefits of that too. Anyways, I started out the day on the standard MXJ rims and for the next session we switched to the MXC rims, which are perfect for warm weather. But for some reason, the cart felt absolutely terrible. I only did a few laps and after that I had to run to our van to get the standard rims back. The cart felt much much better, which is really strange considering that for the most part the standard rims are terrible for hot temperatures. Anyways, a little bit weird, but uh, yeah, not a bad start of the day. Now it was time for the mandatory 3 hour break. Alright guys, so that was the first 3 sessions. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting I should say. Uh, the first one where I had the camera on there, which was session 2 for me, that was actually the best one. I went on the standard rims and uh, well, it, it was going pretty okay. I tried something with the, with the torsion bar, but that didn't work. But yeah, the car felt really good. I did a 44.5, which is still a little bit too slow, but definitely a, uh, you know, a, a good uh, start point of the day. Then for the next session, I actually switched to the MXC rims, because today it's, well, it's quite beautiful weather, as you can see. It's like 25 degrees. So on paper, the MXC rims should have been quicker, but I wasn't for some reason. I went slow by almost half a second. Then I put the MXJ rims, so the standard rims back on there, and then I was like right up there again. That, that's so weird. Uh, guys, uh, a thing I want to share from my sponsor. You remember K Racing? Yeah? Okay. The Code Red 10, which I released like one or two weeks ago, is actually coming to an end. It will only be available until Sunday, the 22nd of May, until 12 o'clock. So, starting on Monday, the code actually won't work again. But we're getting a brand new code, which is actually a lot more interesting. Because the next code is going to be a Hub 15, and that means 15% discount on all OTK wheel hubs, rims, and everything that belongs to theirs. That's basically the whole page. I'll put it on screen right now. Everything of those things will have a 15% discount starting on the 23rd of May. But don't worry guys, I'll mention it when it uh, comes to that point. So now you have one week more to uh, enjoy the standard discount, but after that, Hub 15 is going to be the next discount code. So it's uh, rental time again. We actually have a uh, two hour rental break this time, uh, instead of one and a half last time. And actually, if you look on the main track, there's an endurance race of these uh, silhouette uh, beetles. So yeah, I put the uh, standard rims back on there, put uh, new tires on, let's see what the pressure will do. The engine is actually really good, I'm running my quick engine now, I'm also running a really really small sprocket, so that's going good as well. So yeah, let's see what we can do in the next session with new tires. So any of you guys want a Porsche? These things apparently all belong to one driver, one uh, some dude from Spain, but yeah, nice to have this in your collection. And also, uh, the team truck is already here, claiming a spot already, I, well, I hope, I hope we're back there, because otherwise you have to push the cart uh, all the way up the hill every time, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Luckily, I don't have to push myself when uh, I have a mechanic. <laughs> Alright guys, remember from last video, this is the actual river called Eau Rouge and back there there's some kind of Ferrari truck. I think there's maybe some GT race uh, going on here later this week. I don't know, we'll see. Hello. Hi. Yeah man, the uh, surrounding area here is just absolutely amazing. It's rock solid. So, back to the action. New tires on the standard MXJ rims. The cart actually felt really strong on these wheels, which, like I said, is strange. I was pretty much the only senior running these wheels and that was weird. The onboards look decent, however. Take a look for yourself.
Anyways, I knew something was not quite right with the cart. I was pretty far off the pace for the entire day, more than what I usually am. Also, the cart felt strange. The footage on your screen right now is from the next session, back on the warm weather MXC rims. And again, the cart felt terrible on these rims. Understeer, oversteer, nervousness, everything. Something was definitely not right. So for the last session of the day, same story. I badly wanted to make the cart work on the MXC wheels because that should be the way to go. I also changed to a softer torsion bar and that definitely helped a little bit. As you can see on the footage the cart is a lot less nervous, but I was still a long way off the pace. Also the feeling that the cart gave me totally ruined my confidence and I myself was also not performing at my best. Whenever you're off the pace it's always a combination of bad driving and a bad setup. I just wanted to get that out of the way so it doesn't sound like I'm making excuses. Anyways a very weird day and I hope we can get it all sorted before for next Sunday. All right, people, so that was the end of uh, this day. Uh, yeah, it seemed to be only going worse and worse the longer the day went on. So yeah, uh, things are not looking that good. Like I said, I have the feeling we're missing something and uh, well, of course, that will be solved when uh, we are back with the team tomorrow. Anyways guys, with that also comes the end of this video. Now if you've watched this video and would like to learn a little bit more about the track, uh, then you can check out this video. This is the last time I went testing here and uh, I explained a little bit more about the track itself. Anyways, this video is done and I'll see you next week. Peace.